Thanks for joining us. Thousands of convicted felons in Minnesota will now have the right to vote as soon as they're released. This morning, Governor Wall signed the Restore the Vote bill into law. It's a change years in the making and one that is not without controversy. Supporters say this will help reintegrate former inmates who are disproportionately people of color back into society. Also happening today, Minnesota Attorney General Keith Ellison is joining Hastings Food Service workers on the picket line. The union has been on strike for almost a month month calling on the school district to give them higher wages. The freeze and thaw pattern that Mother Nature has been delivering us is not great for ice conditions. CC Gaines headed out to Lake Minnetonka to check in on ice out dates. Hey there, CC Gaines out on Lake Minnetonka. I know a lot of anglers are working to move their fish houses off of lakes uh, this weekend, and I'm sure that makes a lot of you wonder, when can I get my boat out here? Well, we're here with Jay Soul from Al and Almas. Thanks for being here. Absolutely. Just with a look at how thick the ice is right now and when an ice out could happen. So, I mean, it looks pretty thick, but I mean, what are the measurements? It does look thick, but it's not yeah. about how thick it is always. It's about how good it is. Right. And so one of the different that we're seeing this year is just the lack of solid clear ice. You know, normally we'd see almost twice as much right. uh, when we cut the cube out for spring. So we're seeing about 14 inches of solid clear ice where normally we'd see like 20 inches. All right, so ice yeah. out could happen soon. What, what's your prediction for ice out? I'm going with April 7th, which might be a little late, but depending on how the weather goes, we've got a lot of snow that we've got to melt first yeah. and get to that dark color so the ice can start to melt, but uh, right. we'll see. Yeah, well, thanks for doing this. Thanks for being here. It's a waiting game. I'm guessing April 7th. What's your guess? <laughs> we'll send things back over to you. All right, April 7th. Sounds pretty good, Ben, but you're <laughs> saying that uh, we want a nice slow thaw. Yeah, right? we really do. Uh, we don't need any, you know, big 70 or 80 degree days this early in the season because then we have to start talking about drought concerns and wildfire concerns. This gradual melt that we're going to experience over the next week or so is going to be perfect. And on the topic of ice out dates, uh, we have a, a list of select lakes on the left. The earliest ice out date is the number on the left. The middle number is the average ice out date and the number on the right is the latest we've ever seen. So Lake Minnetonka, Average is April the 13th, so those guys were saying earlier than average, and it makes sense with not a lot of good, solid, clear ice out there, or close to half as much as we typically see this time of year. So I would expect a lot of these lakes to see an earlier than average ice out day. In the meantime, temperatures are warmer than the freezing. So again, this is what we're going to see a lot of over the next week or so, is temperatures cooler than freezing initially in the morning, and then warming up into the mid to upper 30s later in the afternoon. And right now, we still have about 7 to 10 inches of solid snowpack around Minnesota, and this is what's going to help to refrigerate our temperatures as well. Areas without the snowpack, notice Des Moines, Omaha, North Platte over in Nebraska, they were in the 40s and 50s. That's where we would be if we did not have the snowpack right now, which will be gradually melting over the next uh, uh, month or so, which is great news for our drought situation. Uh, look for quiet weather through Saturday, although there might be a few snow flurries in the forecast tomorrow, should not be a big deal. Then as we head into Sunday, some slushy snow possibly mixed with rain moves in during the latter part of the day into Monday and it looks like that freeze thaw cycle will continue through most of next week. We're fast forwarding with the big picture heading into the tail end of the weekend. Dry to start on Sunday, but notice as this weather system moves into the central plain states, we get a little rain snow combo moving through. Little break as we head into early Monday morning, but then the back edge of the system brings us some additional snowfall. So it looks like a couple of slushy inches are possible uh, later Sunday, which could make things a little slippery on the roads. But otherwise, beyond that, no other major uh, weather weather systems in the forecast. Lauren. All right, Ben, thank you. Mm -hmm. And make sure to download the CARE 11 app to stay up to date on our weather. You can get personalized forecasts and live radar anytime. The Minnesota Twins are playing a spring training game right now, but will you be able to watch them on your TV come opening day? Tonight at 6, Gordon Severson looks closely at Bally Sports' parent company, whose missed interest payments could lead to bankruptcy and leave Minnesota sports teams without a network to call home. That's coming up later this afternoon. We hope to see you back here at 4.